Ça va Yeah <rire> What is the outlook for global trade in 2024-2025? The global trade recession is over, but the clouds haven't cleared yet. After months of weak global demand, companies are still stuck with very high inventory levels, especially in sectors such as consumer durables or semiconductors. So actually 2024 will be a year of clearing those inventories. And while this will keep gridflation in check, it will also limit the trade recovery itself. We actually expect global trade to rise by 3% in volume terms in 2024, after contracting by 0.5 in 2023. But that's significantly below the long-term average of 5.1%, reflecting the risk of disruptions in global shipping like the Red Sea crisis, as well as rising protectionism. In value terms, we expect global trade to rise by 2.8% after a contraction of 2.9% in 2023. Our 2024 Global Trade Survey confirms that global trade should indeed bottom out this year. We asked over 3,000 companies in the US, the UK, China, Germany, France, Italy, Spain and Poland about their outlook for the year ahead. And 82% of them said they expect business turnover generated through exports to increase in 2024. And this is actually higher than the 70% that said the same in 2023. But gross prospects remain moderate. 76% of them expect turnover to increase by less than 10%. And only 6% of them expect turnover to increase by more than 10%. And actually, companies remain worried about non-payment risk. 40% expect those risks to increase in 2024, which is broadly stable compared to last year. And they're also worried about geopolitical risk, risk related to transportation and input shortages. But there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Technology will transform global trade. AI is likely to enhance supply chain management, increase export opportunities, and boost services trade. A large majority of companies we surveyed expect actually AI to have a significant positive impact. And the sectors that rely the most on global supply chains, like computer electronics, machinery, electrical, and transport equipment, are investing the most in AI-related innovation. 